I've been waiting for this moment for five months. Oh my God, they did it again. I gotta take this hat off. Everyone already calls me a hipster. If I wear this hat in the video, like, oh, there's, there's Josh wearing his hipster Vans hat. I gotta take it off. I don't know if I should wear my hair down now. Now they're gonna call me metrosexual. It's gonna be a whole thing. Josh and his hair. A good handful of my friends, they say I look like Jesus. So I don't know if that's a good thing or is that a bad thing. I broke my last hair tie and I basically went an entire four or five days without a hair tie. It was literally the worst week of my life. What the f am I saying? Let's get to it. We have an extremely, extremely special review today. I got a f awesome gift in the mail from an online. He's a friend of mine, but I've never actually met him. We're in a bunch of Facebook groups together. He's a fellow beer lover. He knows I love beer and especially craft beers. So. A little, a little story time, a little background story. One of my favorite breweries, probably one of my top, they're in my top three favorite breweries in the world, on planet Earth, in the galaxy. Founders Brewing out of Michigan. Every year it fluctuates, but they, they have a number of special releases. They're here and then they're gone. They're limited releases, special edition. They come out throughout the year in addition to uh, the beers that they produce on a mass level consistently. As mentioned, one of my top three breweries in the world is Founders, but one of my top three probably beers in the world is their Masagave. I don't even know where to f***ing begin. It's f***ing orgasm in your mouth. If you like margaritas, it's essentially a margarita inspired beer. Nobody has done it like Founders. Every May, they bring out the Masagave. Why May? Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo, margaritas. Last year, I f***ing fell so in love with that beer. I probably bought three, maybe four, four packs just because I knew it was a, a limited release. I'm like, this is so f***ing good. So this year, they not only came out with a traditional Masagave Founders release, they did a grapefruit version. Grapefruit. Long story short, I've been searching for this beer for five f***ing months. I went to maybe seven, eight, nine, it could have been a f***ing dozen liquor stores in my town. May went by, June, July, August, we're now in September. I haven't been able to find this year's Masagave. It's been excruciating because clearly I'm in love with that beer. Been trying to get my hands on it, no luck. Like I said, my friend Rob knew how badly I wanted it. He sent me a four pack. Bro, it's just a beer, it's just a beer. You don't understand, if you haven't had this beer, it's amazing. Why was I so interested in finding this year's release? It's because every year, there's so many little variables that make every bottle, every batch different in their own little ways. So like 2019 may taste different than 2020's version. That's because this is a barrel aged ale. Long story short, I was finally able to get this year is 2020 Masagave Grapefruit Barrel Aged Beer. So this is an Imperial Goze style ale, brewed with grapefruit and agave, and then aged in tequila barrels. This isn't your run of the mill, whatever beer. 9.7% alcohol, the 2020 release. They write the greatest descriptions. The cocktail inspiration lives on our Imperial Goze is brewed with agave and sea salt before being aged in tequila barrels. But it doesn't end there. Once it's pulled from the barrels, it gets a dose of fresh grapefruit juice to ramp up the tanginess and to pay homage to our other favorite tequila-based cocktail, the Paloma. Sweet, salty, and mouth-puckeringly delicious Masagave grapefruits. Package on 418 2020. Yeah, I've been waiting for this moment for five months. Mm. Mm. Yes. So, this is essentially a margarita ale with some grapefruit. Color wise, had a little, little amber hue there. A little amber. Touch, a touch of cloudiness. Not perfectly clear, golden. A little bit of amber. Who really f cares what it looks like? Then they does it taste good? Oh my god! Oh my god! They f did it again. It's so f good. It's. It, um, I 
can't even find the f***ing words. I can't find the words. A little bit sweeter than last year's version, or maybe it's just the grapefruit versions. A little sweeter than the traditional masagave. That was one of the first things I noticed, besides it being delicious. I literally don't know what to say. You can taste the fresh lime juice. It's not synthetic, fake, artificial lime juice. It's real lime flavor. The touch of saltiness, right? It's not like they're just saying it. You can taste the saltiness. You can taste the fresh, fresh lime. The sweetness, obviously, being the agave and probably some of the grapefruit juice that they added. I don't have a problem with the sweetness. It's not overbearingly, cloyingly sweet. It is fairly sweet. And like I said, probably a little bit sweeter than last year's. I, I don't care. Founders is not around. They do, they do really high quality um, stuff. I would say go pick this up, but you're not, good luck finding it. You're gonna have to wait till 2021 if they do another Masagave release, which I I would assume that they would just because last year it was just the Masagave, this year it was two Masagaves, the, the original and the grapefruit. That says something that they came out with two this year and next year they're most likely gonna drop it again. If I haven't convinced you already that this is delicious, mark your calendars, April 2021. You need to go find Masagave. <clears throat> Yeah, the grapefruit wasn't really hitting me the first few sips. Now it's really, it's taking effect. Mm -hmm. Citrus wise, I'm not a big orange person. I love grapefruit. So this for me is magical. It's just good. I can't even really find the words. It's as simple as if you like margaritas, if you like that mouth puckering tart mixed with the sweetness, a little salt on your rim, if you like margaritas, period, this is the beer for you. It would be good on its own. They effing aged this in tequila barrels. Like, that's crazy. Lime being such a intense, you know, upfront, in your face flavor, I can't really like go in and taste it and be like, oh yeah, I taste some of that tequila barrel. But you, you do get the booziness from tequila. It, it's a glorious beer. Um, it's glorious. Probably no other word in the dictionary that's appropriate. It's a glorious beer. We talked about resipability on my last video. This has that resipability factor because it is so good that you can't wait to have the next sip. Like you're looking forward to that next sip. And when a beer does that, let's get to the, let's just get to the score already. I'm not gonna go in and give it a 10 because who knows, maybe next year's 2021 release will be better than what? Or maybe somebody does come out with a margarita style ale and it blows founders out of the water, which I don't see happening, but let's say that happened. Then what do I give that beer if I gave this one a 10? Therefore, I can't give it a 10, but what would I give it? Nine point. 7. 9.7 for the 2020 Founders Masagave Grapefruit Barrel H Gose Style Ale. Sometimes I'm like, I'll look back and be like, oh, I should have scored that a little bit differently. No, that's a 9.7. I'm happy with that score. Phenomenal, glorious. I've been gushing about it enough. So in the comments, are you a fan of Founders? Have you ever had Founders? If you haven't, why haven't you had Founders? Have I convinced you to go buy some Founders beer? Should I be sponsored by Founders? And if you did have this year's 2020 release, and let's say you got to have the regular and the grapefruit, drop a comment. Which did you like better? The original or the grapefruit? If you got to this point in the video, I love you, Rob. Thank you so much for sending me this beer. If you enjoyed the video and you got to this point in the video because you're awesome, the little like button is on one of these sides and just if you like the video. Mm. That's all I got though. Thank you for watching. I love you. Until next time. Besitos.